Hey guys, it's McKenna, and today I'm going to be filming my May favorites. I may be like ridiculously late. It's the 14th of June. It's a little late. I'll start off with the two palettes I have. This one is the Morphe 35E. It's all shimmer. It's so beautiful. I love it. There's like literally every single color in here that you would need ever. And usually I just put like... Like a crease color and then I put one of these on my lids because like it's like the most simplest makeup look. Um, I freaking love this whole entire palette but I especially love these like top row shades and these shades. So <laughs> that's that. Next palette I have is a shitty palette I got off of Amazon. It's like I sat on it <laughs> so I tried to tape it back. But um, I literally, this is just like all matte palette. Um, I kind of mistakenly ordered this, but I like it. I literally use these pink, these two pink shades and the browns in this palette. I really, really like it. It's not like too shitty, like I can actually work with it. It's pretty blendable and everything. I've been using it so often. I pretty much use this palette as like my transition colors. There's a few shimmers in this one, but it's mostly matte. And then I use the Morphe 35E to like... Put some pizzazz into it, if you know what I'm saying. So that's that. I'll link this down below. So my next product is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. It's a little thing like this. It is so beautiful. I'm like not really into looking luminous and dewy, but I'm wearing it today and I actually really, really like it. I usually put like a matte primer in my T-zone just to make sure I don't you know, look like an oil slick and then I put this like on the rest and today I was like no let's screw this and I put it everywhere and I actually really 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 like how it makes my foundation look like I don't look flat I just screamed <laughs> but I really really like this next <laughs> the next product I have is the magic Lumi highlighter I use this under my eyes um, like kind of like in between my eyebrows above my forehead down my nose my cubist bow and my chin and sometimes it's down here. I don't know why I do that, but why not? But um, it actually really brightens up and it's light enough for my skin tone. Cause I'm like really, really fair. It's actually light enough for my skin tone. So I'm like, <laughs> so I really like this. Next, I have two concealers. One is from NYX. This is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. This concealer is the most full coverage concealer I have ever used in my whole entire life. Like, this covers all the redness I have. Like, I can even, and it actually matches my skin tone pretty well. This is porcelain. It's the lightest one, obviously. Um, just a little pot. It's so cute. I love it. And it actually really works well. Like, it, it's not sticky. It's not gross. Like, it actually has a really nice formula. It's kind of thick, but I don't mind that because it's so full coverage. I actually really, really like this, and it, like, completely hides all the redness I have. Like, all of it. I like that. This is a Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in Fair 001. This matches my skin tone perfectly, so if I don't want to wear, like, a lot of makeup that day, I'll just put, like, it on, like, all my dark spots and under my eyes, and then set it with some powder and just go out. I have to do my eyebrows because I, uh, tweezed this whole part off. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. Actually, products I've had for a while, but I never really used them up until recently. I've had these two lipsticks for the longest time, but I haven't used them up until recently. Like, I've used them individually, but I mixed them together the other day just to, like, play around. And, um, this is, uh, Rimmel's Lasting Finish by Kate in number 41. Just a nice little pink. I have it right here. And then this is Teddy Bear number 20 by Milani. I have it right here in the middle. So this is them both mixed together. This is what I've been wearing it on my lips. It's like a nice pinky brownie nude. Like it's, I feel like it's the perfect color. The color underneath it's kind of like a color reference for um, 630 Seduction. So I love these lipsticks together. I've been wearing this like almost every day pretty much. I'm not wearing it today. I just, uh, I don't feel like wearing lipstick. Um, but yeah, I really like this color on my lips. I like them individually. Like I like them both individually. This and the Milani Teddy Bear, it kind of reminds me of um, Dolce K, um, but it's not as drying or doesn't look 
like shit brown kind of has like some red in it kind of looks like a really dark brick to be honest um but i really like this color it's just like a a plain pink like your basic pink i don't know i really like it i really like them together too so that's that my next favorite is the pure body naturals dead sea mud mask it looks like this i got it off of amazon i love amazon i don't know a lot of things I get off of from Amazon. So funny. But um, I absolutely love this. I've been using it. It says to only use it once a week, but I'm using it like three times a week. It's like this really, really dark gray. My friends say it looks like I have duct tape on my face <laughs> whenever I wear this. Um, doesn't smell like anything. And like I've used it. I had to use it like at least 10 times and I still have so much left. I'll definitely link this down below. So if you wanna go check that out, you definitely can. This actually keeps my face like pretty hydrated. Like it doesn't make like all my like, my acne scars really like gross, you know? But it really helps with like the redness and it hydrates my face. I actually really like it. So pretty much like almost every claim on here, I'm not sure, I don't know if it like really removes dead skin. I exfoliate anyway, but. I really, really like this. So if you're looking for a mask that hydrates and helps with acne and acne scarring, definitely look this up. I'll link it down below. So that's it for all my May favorites. I know this is super late, but better late than never. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.